not adequate. I mean, there's no way that our rebellion against God, against a God who is of infinite worth and value, that our sin is of an infinite variety, and even if we suffer eternity in hell, that can't really uh, justly fulfill the measure of punishment that is our due. Now, obviously, Jesus did not spend eternity in hell. But the argument that has been given and advanced throughout church history is that Jesus' atonement was of infinite value. And being of infinite value could cover and satisfy the demand for eternal punishment so that the value of it, even though it was only temporal, for the Son of God to suffer in our place for our sins for five minutes would be, at least it was accepted to God as a sacrifice to pay for the penalty that was our due. That's the only way that I know to work with that is to, to look at it in terms of the value of the sacrificial atonement that Christ made. Is, is that what is meant in the Apostles' Creed when it said he descended into hell? No. Uh, that, that thing, in so many uh, cases where you see that statement, the descensus ad infernos is in the original, there's an asterisk next to it. And, and that's because in the earliest copies of the uh, uh, Creed, that statement is absent. And so, Presumably, we don't know this for sure, but presumably that phrase, the descent into hell, took, came in later on. Now again, there's all different kinds of views of that uh, and what that meant. Some say he went to hell on a rescue mission to save the fathers who were in the limbo of the fathers or so on. And others say, no, he went to hell to suffer the fullness of the punishment of sin. And most people see that as happening between his death and resurrection. The reform view of this matter is that the full measure of hell that Jesus suffered, he suffered on the cross. He didn't need to go to hell somewhere underneath the earth to suffer that because when he was exposed fully to the wrath of God on the cross, as Paul labors the point that Jesus became a curse for us, mm. He took the full punishment of hell during the atonement. And when he was about to die, he declared, it is finished, to tell us lie, meaning the payment has been made finally, and then he commended, commended his spirit into the Father's hand. Right. So historic Reformed theology would just change the order. They would say, crucified, descended into hell, dead, and, and buried. Was buried.